Hi folks, um, bit of a throw throw together one today. I've um, had to go out this morning and price up a job for next weekend. From my usual um, place of work. It's just that some jobs have to be done on price work, some on an hourly rate. But at least I've got uh, some work coming in again now quite regular which is nice <clears throat> so on a day yesterday when the uh, science comes out and admits they got a lot wrong what do we get from boris well we're going to follow the science and we'll tell you and instruct you how to live with this <laughs> well boris we've been living with an annual flu and colds all year round for many many years we've seen the sort of advice and the help you give we'll deal with it with the same way we dealt with it for years you know what i mean <laughs> i mean i've got through 60 years without a flu jab occasionally i'll get the flu and a cold but uh, <laughs> yeah i'm still here I didn't do nothing you said. I didn't change my routines. Even my work routines didn't change. So, to your advice and your help, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, big farmer are the only ones making a big killing out of this, besides the people who are profiteering from it all, you know, like government officials. Uh, <laughs> but... Um, yeah, they, they make millions upon millions upon millions out of annual flu remedies. So they, they don't want any of this cured. As they all, as everybody says, a patient cured is a customer lost. <clears throat> but anyway, I'll leave that there for a minute because I've got another bit there I can see that con con you know, goes in with that. Um, but... This crack over <laughs> Blair's knighthood. Well, we all know about the petition. I signed it. I hope you lot did. Over a million signatures now, but I don't think they'll take any notice of it. They're, they're too arrogant. But then I, <laughs> I, I started to think, well, why do they have charge of it? If someone deserves an accolade like this in this in this country, shouldn't the people decide who deserves it, who gets put forward to it? You know, a poll once a year or all through the year, there's some department somewhere where you can either email in, put somebody forward for a knighthood or, you know, or as Boris seems to think he wants a sainthood. <laughs> but I don't think the Queen dishes them out. Um, and then so many get put forward in the yearly list and the people vote on which one should receive it but then I thought again <laughs> the government would want control of this which means to have a vote you'd have to give your jibby jabby status your whole medical bloody history your life history and probably lick the little box so they got a sample of your dna before you can have a bloody vote on it so but that puts that out straight away then doesn't it <laughs> oh that, that was just a thought i had now Boris has got everybody test, 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 test. They want companies testing their staff daily, which ain't going to happen because they just haven't got the tests. That you know, it, the problems are there already. They haven't got the amount of tests. But to me, this is just my opinion. This is the reason they didn't bring in another lockdown. Because what they're doing now is essentially locking down a lot of the population. Because they know there's going to be wild positive test results all over the bloody place. So the fact that people are still mingling and then test, 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 it ain't going to make any difference. All that's going to do is push the numbers up. 
more people isolating, more people off the streets, effectively, they've caused a lockdown without announcing one or partial lockdown. But it's really backfired on them because last time the proper lockdown didn't include key workers. This time there's as many key workers off as there is the rest of us. <laughs> so, but there again, there are reports now. I mean, I can't confirm these, um, although mainstream media has put it out there. They, they can't confirm it. I'll say that right from the start. The, the common cold is a barrier against the lurgy. <laughs> and most of us would be immune to it anyway. Obviously, the underlying conditions is where the problems lie. Whether it be from the lurgy or the jibby-jabby, it doesn't matter. A lot of it has to do with underlying conditions. I've found that much out. But I just can't wait for Boris and the NHS and the propaganda machine to put their twist on this. I mean, they're already trying to bullshit their way out with menial excuses about Boris's parties again. They're trying to justify everything. And Boris even had the arrogance to laugh about it when he asked, got asked about it on telly. Unbelievable. But in a way... Now, don't take me wrong on this. You, you know the way I look at things, and I look at things very oddly. In a way, I could say that I'm quite glad a lot of what's happened has. Obviously, I'm sorry for the loss of life. But what has been exposed in the last two years, how many years would this have taken to come to the front? The corruption and everything else in governments, not just us around the world, how they can turn into dictators just at the click of a switch. That is why I am in one respect glad this has happened because that has brought all this out to the front now. People are seeing it. People who didn't believe it was there, even though people were saying it was there. It's always been there. All it's done now is exposed. Yeah, that is probably the only good thing that has come out of all this. You know, but it's happening on a daily basis now. But yeah, it, it's exposed the levels of corruption and just how far they will go. I always said it was going to be an interesting year, and so far it hasn't disappointed. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'll leave it there for now. Um, as I say, towards the end of the week, um, videos may be a bit sparse, a bit hit and miss because I've got this bit of work coming up. It is quite a big job, but it's a lot of prep work. So obviously money has got to come first. But until then, as always, my respects to each and every one of you. Thank you for your support as always. You know, this is why I do the channel. It helps me, but if it helps you guys as well, that helps me even more because it makes me feel better. So my respects to you all for your support. And until the next one, stay strong, stay safe, and stay free from the tyranny. And more so now, live your lives how you want. Respects. I'm gone.